What I'm going to do in this video, I'm going to go through exploding and imploding a string in PHP. Um, there's loads of different reasons why you do this. The one that I'm going to focus on and just go through is um, if you had a social network and instead of having a separate table for all the friendships in that way you would have say um, ID1 is friends with ID2. Instead of that I'm looking at the perspective from you don't have that friends table you just have a users table and then a field for each row that would be friends and you would have a comma delimited string of IDs of everybody who that person is a friend with so I hope that makes sense it, this this will make sense anyway so I've done it in six steps and what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you the initial string then how to turn that into an array then loop through that array show you how to add a member to that array by member I mean an ID then I'm going to show you how to remove one from that array and then finally we're going to turn that array back into a string so just one of those things that can be handy and it doesn't have to be for this it could be for anything you could be passing um, variables get variables and or post it doesn't matter and splitting them by whatever you want and turn it into an array I mean it's it's really not limited to this but this is just I thought this is just a simple example so anyway so let's have a look so for number one as I mentioned just got this string I've just put it in a variable called members so this could be a column or field in your table so if we have a look at that so let's have a look at that. Yeah, so initial member string, it's just literally nothing special, it's just echoing that out. So now let's turn that to an array. Just drag our exit, just put it down here. The reason I'm doing this with this exit is because I don't want it to run anything below it. I'm just going to show you one bit at a time. So yeah, let me just upload that. So what this is doing is it's using the explode function and what that does is it separates a string at whatever character you give it so in this instance I'm giving it a comma because we've separated these with a comma so what it does is it's splitting this string at this character and then turning it into an array of items we're calling it members array so then we're printing that to the page so let's have a look so as you can see it's printing out the array of this string so you can see 34 54 11 8 32 so it's just literally in that order throws it into just a standard array then let's have a look what's next so now going to loop through this array I just thought I'd show this because you never know when what you're going to need it for so you might just want to display them on separate lines like these this could be names these could be names of um, anything I don't know cars anything fucking fruit <laughs> whatever you want it could be anything so I'm just going to show you now this simple for each loop it's going to get this array, well, there, get that array, and then loop through it with the key and the value. And we need the key because in the next step, well, not in the next one, but in the one after, we're going to remove um, a member from this. And we use the key to do that. So anyway, so yeah, this is going to loop through it and display each on a different line. So let's upload that right yeah so here we go so this again is it's the same information as there but this time instead of it being in I mean arrays like this can be hard to read and they're not user friendly I mean you wouldn't want to print that on your page I mean people wouldn't know what the fuck was going on so yeah so this is just nice and simple one after the other 
And like I said, that could be anything. It does. I'm just using these IDs. It doesn't have to be that. So what's next? So now I'm going to show you how to add an ID to that. So you use the array push function, and all we're going to do is push this new ID into this array. That's all that is. You pass the array first, and then the value that you want to give it. So now if we look at that, we'll see, I'm just printing out the array again, but this time we have this new one here, the new ID has been added. So now let's remove one from the array. So what we're going to do, we're going to remove number 54 we're going to remove ID 54 from the array so what we're doing is we do the same for each loop as up here except this time instead of echoing out the values we're doing a simple if statement and we're going to say if the value is equal to 54 which is the one we want to get rid of then unset unset is if, if you didn't pass this part to unset it would just remove everything from the array so what we're doing, we're saying unset this key from the array. And we know what that we've got the right key because as it brings it through as key value pairs, we're checking the value and it's so it's gonna be this current this current um this current key in the loop. I don't know why I couldn't get that out of them. But yeah, but you'll see it anyway. So let me just upload that. Let's have a look. So now remove member 54 from the array. So now when we look, 54 has gone. 54 was value 1 and it's took the key with it. So now you see the key is 0, 2, 3. I mean, it doesn't really matter for this example. You'd probably want to be setting the, the keys yourself to to something, I don't know. You, maybe you wouldn't, but you, you could. It doesn't really matter. So next, we're going to turn the array back into a string. So this would be, you do what you've got to do, you add a member or remove a member, and then you're going to turn it back to a string so you can insert it back into your database or do whatever you want with it. Let's move that. I'll just upload it first. All right, so what we've got here is rebuild member string. So all we're going to do is use this implode function which is very similar to explode same parameters but this time we're saying join this array with this like turn it into a string using this to delimit each part. So if we have a look now we will when I click refresh we'll see the same sort of thing as this, but this time number 54 will be gone and number 3 will be on the end. So there, you can see it. So I think that's about it. There's nothing else to, to say really. I mean, that should be enough for you to get your head around it and use it for whatever you need. I mean, we've got getting the initial string, turn it to an array, adding to that, removing from that, and then turning it back to a string. So yeah, I'll put the this file in the description.